I'm going to do a second example now. This would be, again, a typical word problem that you could be given. An object is placed at half the focal length from a converging lens. And I could ask you, what's the magnification and what's the image distance i? Once again, there are two techniques that you could use to solve for this. We'll go through the algebraic technique first. We go back to our expression 1 over p plus 1 over i is 1 over f. And you could immediately start uh, being concerned because you'd say, well, I haven't been told any of these numbers yet. But you have been told one in particular thi thing here, and that is that the object is placed at half the focal length. That tells us something about p. P, in other words, is 1 half f. And it's a positive number because we're saying that um, it's over on this. This is always the so-called uh, v side, and this is always the r side, and the object distance is always a positive number. So when I go back and I put uh, terms on either side of the expression here, and now I have 1 over i is 1 over f minus 1 over p. I'm going to insert for p, it's 1 over f minus 1 over f over 2, which becomes 2 over f. If I solve, that becomes minus 1 over f. And in other words, the image distance is minus f. That's interesting. It means that I can put an object in front of a converging lens right there, and the image distance is actually way over here. What about the magnification? Magnification is always minus i over p. i came out to be a negative number. It became out to be negative f. And p was 1 half f. So when I put in minus of a minus f over 1 half f, that becomes plus 2. So this object uh, has an image that's quite a bit bigger. It's, it's twice as big as the original object. And since this is a positive number, it's an upright image. It looks in the same orientation as the original uh, object itself. So it's an imaginary or a virtual image, and it's upright, and it's enlarged. How could I see that graphically? We'll go through the second technique now. The second technique calls on us to just draw the lens and draw the two focal dots here, one there and one there. And we put our object uh, located at one half of a focal length. And then we think about those three rays. Ray number one is the one that um, is going to go in parallel to the center axis of the, of the whole system. So when it goes in parallel, remember it gets directed to the focal length. So it keeps on going down. Number two is the one that goes through the center axis and it's undeflected. So that should be a straight line right there. And my apologies for my artistry, but it's, that should be a straight line. And number three is the one that should come out at a, a parallel to the, p the center axis. So I'm drawing a parallel ray right there. And how do I know to draw it there? Well, I know that converging lenses uh, either take light uh, from the right and bring them down to a focal point, or take light from a focal point and make them go parallel. It runs forward the same forward and backward. So I drew a light ray that, imagined, that I imagined came from the focal length and dotted out like this because there was no light coming this way um, and had it cross the tip. So this is a light ray that's leaving my object and at, at such an angle that it looked like it was coming from back here and it comes out parallel. So now when I look at these three light rays, number one, number two, number three, where do they actually converge? Well, they never converge. They look like they're spreading out, in fact, on this other side of the lens over here. So they, they never converge. They only appear to converge. If I was an observer on this side looking back in, I would see the light appear to converge from a point back here where those three rays meet. And notice that they meet way up here. So at a point uh, located f away from the lens, and at a location that's farther away from the center axis, it's an image that looks enlarged. So it's a virtual image. It's upright, and it's enlarged compared to the original object. So if I draw this picture really carefully, I can get information about the magnification uh, and the image distance. All I have to do is make sure I've got my signs right, and I remember what lenses with certain kinds of focal lengths do uh, in the picture. So we've had 
two techniques to learn how to co compute an image distance and a magnification. One uses simple algebraic manipulation and the other uses uh, some intuition of a, and a ray tracing of particular light rays uh, through the system. And we will get practice doing both of those techniques.